Days later and the damage is still there. Tonight, a town gets more help after devastating flash floods. Good evening, I'm Hannah Daniels in for Dennis. It's going to be a long and difficult road to recovery for many in Naugatuck. Wednesday's flash floods left seven families without a home and many others with thousands of dollars in damage. Earlier tonight, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro toured some of the hardest hit areas. Channel 3's Karen Lee joins us live with the mobile newsroom from Prospect Street. Karen, what did the Congresswoman have to say? Well, she was very overwhelmed by what she had to see, Hannah. And actually, the last stop of her tour was right here on Prospect Street. Six out of the seven people who were displaced all live in this complex. And all you really have to do is take a look at this parking lot to understand the damage. You can see the road has been ripped up. Asphalt has been stripped. There's piles of rubble. And all of that stream coming from the stream out, out and back. Couches, mattresses, box springs. They all sit in a dumpster tonight. Everything is waterlogged. Can you even describe to me what that felt like to throw all of that out? It, kill, it kills you. Start over. Where are you guys? Here and there. Ann Kuhar and her family were forced out of their basement apartment after flash floods destroyed almost everything on Wednesday. During the storm, I guess at its worst, the water level rose to here on the windows. And you can see the and water you can line. See the water line. You can see all the mud that came in. They've already ripped up the carpet. Industrial fans and dehumidifiers do little to stop the mold from spreading. There are many more stories like this here in Naugatuck. This afternoon, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro joined the mayor and fire chief as they toured the damage. Officials admit it will not be easy getting people the aid they need. This is so unique because the whole state didn't get hit. Not even all of Norgatuck got hit, just pockets. So that means that you don't access something like the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Um, and we have to try to figure out locally at the state, at the federal level, what there is out there for them to take advantage of. Back at the Kuhars, they'll be staying with friends for a day or two. After that, they have no idea where they'll go. I'm angry. I'm angry. I don't know. I don't really kind of know which way I'm going to turn. Just doing the best you can. Fire chief tells us it could be as long as a month or two before these people can go back into their homes. Live with the Mobile Newsroom in Nagata, Karen Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.